Hi everyone, and welcome to my review of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Uh, I'm Brad McLaren, aka McLaren Design, and this is for the Sauber F1 team. Uh, this is the final race of the season. Uh, starting on fr Friday, we got to see Adderley Fong and practice. Um, he didn't really push the car as hard as the typical, as, as hard as Adrian or uh, Esteban. Um, he was getting used to the how the C33 felt, uh, having previously driven the C31, uh, which I imagine there are quite a few differences. Um, but the cars performed roughly as expected with Abu Dhabi's temperatures. I was expecting a slower pace. I was hoping the track would help, but as long as it stayed hot, um, it seemed like the C33 didn't really favor hot temperatures as much as it did cooler temperatures. Um, in uh, practice two, uh, I know uh, Adrian set uh, time good enough for 15th and Esteban uh, in 17th. Um, going into practice, we saw Esteban get close to making Q2, but I believe he was half a tenth off. Um, so sadly, both cars didn't make it into Q2 um, in the race. At the beginning, I believe it was turn seven, Adrian got caught between a car in front and a car behind. And when his car hit one or the other, I don't know, don't remember which one it was first, it did a nice little pivot in the middle of the air. Um, I'd love to see what that looked like on the telemetry. Um, but sadly, as the race played out and tire strategy became important, uh, they tried putting both cars on separate strategies and even the cleaner two-stop strategy didn't really help out the pace with Esteban finishing 15th and Adrian 16th. So, sadly, the first year without points for Sauber, and I know we were all hoping that they would get something, especially at this race, but um, hopefully with the way things play out, with one of the teams not showing up, um, that'll give Sauber some of the additional prize money. Um, there's also talks of redistribution of the uh, the commercial rights or the funding for the teams at the beginning of the season. Um, I am a firm uh, in the opposition of Super GP2. Um, don't like it. Bad idea. Um, I don't like the idea of teams being tossed into a second series like a carnival act. I understand that this is the show, but it's not a circus. Not, not in that kind of nature. Um, so, yeah, no Super GP2, please. Uh, you may say it's a one-man crusade, but no Super GP2. Come on, that's ridiculous. Um, big thank you to Adrian uh, Sutil and Esteban Gutierrez for your efforts this year. Thank you very much, guys. It was greatly appreciated. Esteban, I've been following you for a few years. Um, I will continue to do so. Um, I hope to see you both on the grid next year, just hopefully behind us. Um, congratulations to Marcus Erickson, who debuted today in uh, testing. Today was the first day of testing, so congratulations, good job. Um, we may have to talk about the hair, because that could be a few, you know, like five or six kilos with the hairspray, but we'll, we'll talk about it. Other than that, uh, Felipe Nasser, we're looking forward to seeing you. Um, thank you to Salver F1 team for making me feel like I'm actually part of the team. It means a lot to me. And uh, thank you to every one of you for joining in and following me and Chad, Chadney and um, pole position for each of the races this year. This is something I hope that gets passed down to fans further down the line each year. Um, if not myself, other people, I, I encourage Sauber to continue this because this has been a blast. Um, good luck next year um, with the things going on at the particular engine supplier whose name shall, remain, shall not be mentioned. Um, hopefully that will increase Sauber's opportunity to score points next year. Um, there should still be some prize money divvied out to Sauber to help them out with that. Um, of course, sponsorship would help, so if your company is interested in entering Formula One, call Sauber. Uh, thank you very much to the team uh, and to everybody that runs their social media uh, via Google, Twitter, Facebook, etc. Uh, you guys do a fantastic job in interacting with your fans, um, and it, it's greatly appreciated. Uh, 
thanks to everyone, and I will see you guys next year. Um, never give up. And bring your cowbell! More cowbell! <laughs>